Hello CS235 students, my name is Jared, I'm a TA for the course, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a Linux terminal on CLion, the JetBrains IDE for C++. You're probably familiar with it from CS142. Um, that being said, we know that for this course, the recommended programming environment is Replit because of its native Linux terminal and for a few other reasons. but for those of you that want to continue to use CLion, um, it's pretty helpful for CS236. I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Linux terminal. So, also, I can't take any responsibility for things you might do in your terminal that might change your computer. And I can't take time during office hours or in the help queue to help you do this. That's why I'm making this tutorial. So, the first step is to look up WSL for Windows 10. And WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. Well, as it says here, it's a compatibility layer uh, that allows us to run Linux in Windows. So we're just going to go to this Microsoft document that has some simple steps that show us how to get this up and running. I'm going to assume that we are not Windows Insider, so we can't use the simplified installation. We're going to go to the manual installation, which uh, requires us to have some of these um, terminal commands that we have to run in PowerShell or your Windows terminal of choice. We're just going to use PowerShell. So let's look at PowerShell, right click it, and run it as administrator. You have to do this for these commands to, or these features to be enabled. So you just open up PowerShell as administrator. You can just come here and click the copy button and control V, paste it in, and hit enter. That enables these features. Step two has to do with your Windows version. I'm assuming that any of us that has a semi-modern computer that's running Windows has a new enough version of Windows 10 for this to work. So we're just going to skip to step three. And step three is the same thing. We're going to hit copy. We're going to hit paste. And we're going to hit enter. And step four requires us to download the Linux kernel update package. Now when you download this and run it, it's most likely that it's going to tell you that you don't have WSL enabled. So restart your computer and it will be enabled and come back to this step. So now that you restarted your computer, we are going to open this download. Um, you hit finish when it's all installed or set up. And there's one more step that we can do here. This is just to set our default version of WSL to version 2, the newest version. I'm going to do that. So set it to version 2. And then the last step is to install your Linux distribution. So we are going to go to the Microsoft Store and we are going to look up Ubuntu, which is a pretty common Linux distribution that we can use. Um, I already have mine installed, so when you install yours, it will open, it will take you to a terminal that looks like this, and it will ask you to make a username and password, um, which is pretty common in Unix-based operating systems. So we are going to make our username and password. I've already done that. My username is jaredct2. It's my NetID. And then we can open CLion. We don't really need Ubuntu anymore. We can close it, do whatever. Um, I'm going to open CLion. I have a fresh install of CLion, so it should look somewhat like yours. We're just going to wait for that to open. And so when it opens, you go to Settings. And we are going to go down to the very bottom option, the Tools. And we can go to terminal here on the right, or click terminal here. And we are going to change our shell path. This is the shell path to the Windows terminal. So I'll show you right now our terminal is a Windows terminal, Microsoft Corporation. So we know that this is not the terminal that we want. So let's go back there to the terminal. And we're going to change our shell path to the Linux for Windows shell path, bash.exe apply, hit OK, and at this point you close your old terminal, open a new terminal, and as you can see here it looks different, 
this looks like how it did in my Ubuntu. So what we can do are these simple Linux commands. Uh, PWD is going to give us the path to our current directory. LS to see what's in that directory. So you can see my C Lion project has main.cpp, new file.txt. So we can actually make new files, um, my file.txt. And if you see, my file.txt just showed up. So this is a working Linux terminal. Obviously, I'm running Windows, and so it worked. Um, like I said, if you have any problems doing this, I cannot take time in office hours or in the help queue to help you do this. You'll have to tinker on your own because this is not the recommended programming environment for the course. Um, it is very helpful for future courses and for personal projects. So that's why I made the tutorial. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching.